All right, so let's take some time to define the term mobility group. First of all, a group of wireless LAN controllers in a network that work together under the same mobility group name. This means they have seamless mobility between roaming clients. So a client can move to any of the APs. I'm going to draw little circles to represent APs out here to our wireless LAN controller. A client can move around to any of these APs without noticing a difference. They don't have to establish a new authentication, a new uh, a session, anything like that. Uh, the client can move around in this environment without noticing any changes at all on their side. So it, it's a very big positive for organizational campuses or organizational environments or enterprise environments so that people don't have to constantly reconnect. So we can have up to 24 wireless LAN controllers in this mobility group. Uh, they are statically configured to that one mobility group. Can't be a part of more than one. Uh, there's no uh, Venn diagram, so to speak, of, of multiple uh, mobility groups overlapping each other. All right, but you can only belong to one. One thing to note, we have full mesh CapLab tunnels between the members. So from here to here and here to here, and here to here, and every it's full mesh connectivity. This allows us to exchange that client list very quickly back and forth with, through those tunnels. We have mobility control messages that keep us up to date of what's going on within our mobility group. Now, our client lists are very important here. Our authentication types, the, the client uh, information, so to speak, uh, what do, uh, wireless LAN they're connected to, SSIDs, their authentication, what they have, they have access to, what VLAN they're steered toward, all incredibly important within this mobility group. So each one of these wireless LAN controllers has to be configured for that, and they have to be configured for the right IP addressing and access to VLAN. If we go higher up the mobility group chain, we can see what's called a mobility domain. Now, a mobility domain can contain multiple mobility groups. So a group of controllers configured on a single wireless LAN controller that specifies members in different mobility groups. This provides, again, mobility for clients. Clients keep their original IP even though they are moving between mobility groups. This can be, let me uh, uh, say, a campus architecture, right? These could be different buildings within the campus. So this could be building one and building two and building three, and there can be some overlap there uh, uh, for coverage. But a client could actually move between building one, two, and three, or different floors on buildings, like building uh, floor two, three, and four, and five, without having to reconnect and re-enter their credentials. We can have up to 72 wireless LAN controllers in one wireless LAN controllers mobility list. This again requires full mesh and tunnels between the members and we exchange mobility control messages yet again. So this is actually a little bit greater and every single one has a group of controllers on a single wireless LAN controller that, that, mem that specifies members in different mobility groups.